Hello my dear students, hope you are keeping fine. In the last class we have learned from page number 16 and 17. The chapter name is Tinali meets Babu, chapter 2. So let us read from page number 18 and 19 and what it tells us. So let's start reading. Please see your books, follow the lines. Babur was surprised to see an old man with a white beard planting a mango sapling. He couldn't help asking, Bade Mia, what are you doing? Jahapana, I am planting a mango sapling, replied Dinali Raman. But Bade Mia, Babur said, you appear quite old. Even if this sapling takes root, grows and bears fruit, fruit what would you gain? Surely you won't be alive. I am not planting it for my own sake, Japana, but for others. I enjoy the fruits of the trees planted by my father. And now this tree will bear fruit for those who live after me. That will be my reward. I like your idea. Babu responded admiring, admiringly. You are a kind man who cares for others. Take these coins and plant more trees. The emperor asks his minister to give the old man a pouch containing gold coins. Accepting the gold, the old man bowed gratefully and said, May God grant the emperor a long life. You see, normally people get fruit many years after planting a tree, but I got it immediately. It shows that consideration for others definitely reaps a rich harvest. Pleased by the old man's remark, Babur gave him another bag of coins. Again the old man said, you have really made this old man happy, while this tree, when mature, will bear fruit only once a year. You have rewarded me twice already, Babu replied. Well said, again you deserve a reward. And Tinali received a third bag of coins. Alarmed, one of the ministers advised Babu, Your Highness, this old man appears to be quite wise. Let us move ahead before his Pity utterances force you to empty your treasury right here. Babur smiled and began to ride away. Then the old man said, Huzur, just cast a glance at me at once. So saying, Tinali removed his disguise and said, I am your humble servant, Tinali Raman. Realizing that he had been thoroughly flooded. Sorry, it's not flooded, it's fooled. Babur burst out laughing. I'm not at all sorry for having rewarded you, Tinali Raman. You deserve it. You are every bit as intelligent and wise I have I had heard. Babur took Tinali to his palace and showered him with gifts. When Raja Krishnadevaraya heard about Tinali Raman's triumph, he too rewarded him with gold and property, and Tinali Raman became even dearer to the Raja's heart. So from these paragraphs, we came to know that Babur was surprised to see the old man, but he could not help him and just asked, Bari Mia, what, he, what are you doing? The old man is the old man in respect replied that he is just planting a mango sapling. Babu said to the old man that the that he appears quite old and even if the sapling grows and bears fruits, what would he gain? The old man said the old man is a Tinali Raman. So he said that he is not planting it for his own, but for the others, as he already enjoyed the fruits planted by his father, and his and this tree will bear fruit for those who live after me.
even if i am not alive the remaining people on this earth can have it and that will be my reward hearing this babur asked his idea and admired him as a kind man who cares for others and offered him some gold gold coins gold coins so later accepting the gold coins the old man gratefully and said that god met sorry after accepting the gold coins the old man gratefully and said that god grant my emperor a long life he also said that as he can see normally people get fruit many years after planting a tree but he got immediately after planting some sapling there also not only one gift there also twice babur was pleased by the old man's wore remark and gave him another bag of coins after getting the second time of co- coins the old man replied that it made him very happy when the tree will mature and bear the fruit only once a year he already have rewarded twice babu replied and said he again deserve a reward and gave him a third bag of gold coins at the very moment one of his ministers advised babu that the old man seems to be wise and that they should move ahead before their treasury gets over then babu smiled and began to ride away but the old man asked babu to cast a glance means look at him for once and tinali raman the old man removed his dress or whatever costumes or whatever he was dressed up so he removed and then said to babur that he is his humble servant tinali raman babur burst out on laughing realizing that he had been fooled thoroughly and he said that he is not at all sorry for rewarding raman He praised Raman saying that he is more intelligent and wise as he have heard he had heard about him. Babu then took him to the to his palace and showered him with all the gifts. Later when his uh, Raja Krishna Dev Raya heard about what had happened in Babu's palace he also rewarded him with gold and property. property and thus raman became even dearer to the rajas heart so my dear students hope you all have understood the chapter please read once again whole chapter and then please take care of yourself stay safe take care and have a good day